All right guys, so today so I want to show you guys how to install the bow rail accessory for the Wally 500R or Wally 500, same size. Okay, so uh, this one's a uh, much easier install than the uh, bow rail accessory. So all you have to do is uh, it comes with four bolts, one, two, and the other two on the other side. Okay, so one thing to note is that there will be space in between um, the navigation arc and the rope lock. And as you can see, it is not a um, an exact fit. So, oh, it will have some uh, lateral movement like this in the x-axis, but uh, very sturdy in the y and in the uh, z direction. So that's going up and going uh, this way. So that's that to consider, but uh, it feels pretty sturdy. Uh, one thing is that it is pretty tall. This thing is coming in at, I think over four feet high. So that's one thing that I didn't expect and one thing to keep in mind. Okay, installation wise, you're gonna definitely want two people to do this, uh, three preferably. One to hold this in place and the other to put the screw in and uh, screw it in. I recommend three people, so you can have one on each side holding it, because it's pretty hard for one person to hold it. And then the third person can uh, screw it in. That would be the uh, ideal configurations. Again, one of the challenges, you have to undo this thing from the back of rope lock. And remember, this comes very tightly. So you'll have to use a hammer or a screwdriver or something to uh, soften it, and then um, that'll make undoing it a lot easier. Okay, here's what it looks on the other side. And note that uh, it's also not a uh, perfect uh, exact fit over here like it was on the, the other side. So you will get a literal of a little bit of lateral movement like that. But um, otherwise it's pretty secure mostly. Okay, so one application I'm using for it is to hold the navigation light. And you can see I mounted it on the right side up there. Uh, gonna have to do better wire management, but this is my uh, temporary uh, setup for the nav light. Okay, the navigation arc comes with a plate on each side. The dimensions of these are roughly four inch tall and seven inches across. This is a thin metal plate that is welded on to the bars. The plate is pretty sturdy, so you can hang stuff or mount stuff to it without any problems, I think. Obviously, nothing heavy or major like an outboard, but rod holders or maybe even a fire extinguisher should not be a problem. I'm planning on mounting rod holders to them, uh, but I'll see how uh, obstructive they are for activities like trolling. The top of the nav arc has three plates. The two on the sides are roughly uh, six to seven inches across and about four inches in length. The middle plate is about 10 inches in length and also about six to seven inches across. As mentioned before, I'm using one of the side plates to mount my stern light and so far it's been holding pretty well. Overall, uh, the nav arc feels pretty heavy duty. I've seen folks uh, actually sit on them so if you want to use them to mount stuff or to lean against or maybe even build a backrest structure on them, I don't think that should be an issue at all. The loose mounting so far hasn't been an issue for me, but I'll keep everyone updated on if there are any uh, scenario or situations where that does become an issue. Or if you guys know of a way to help me uh, secure it properly, uh, let me know in the comments below. Okay, time for the analysis portion of the navigation arc. The uh, MSRP of this uh, is $895. The installation time is about one to two hours, depending on how much help you get. And also on how much time it takes for you to remove the plastic wrapping and to undo the uh, rope knots. Probably the two most time consuming tasks of this installation. This installation will require at least two people. One to hold the uh, nav bar on each side. It's not heavy, but it's bulky, so it's very uh, difficult for one person to do. I would recommend having at least three people to do this. 
so that one person can hold it on each side and the third person can focus on aligning the bolt and uh, put it in place. In terms of tool, uh, you only need a hex wrench to do this installation. Overall, I found the navigation arc to be pretty handy so far. It serves as a pretty good mounting point to the Wally, especially if you want to do a lot of drilling into it. I will look to see how it performs in the future and if it gets in the way for efficient activities such as uh, trolling. All right, and that's it for this video, everyone. Uh, I hope you find this content useful. If you do, uh, give me a like and subscribe below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks everyone. Until next time.